Hello everyone, how are you doing? I thought I'd make a street vid today. Well, I hope you saw, I hope everyone is in good health and everybody's been taking care of themselves because on that I have. Right, I'm in North Bourne Street, back lane. Now I've come here for good reason. Right, folks, because this is where it's taught, this is where part of the story is as to round the confession, the murder confession uh, in Durham Jail Hospital with me. Now, what it? Yes, this is Elzuk Road. Hang on. All right. Ah, just an old man. Camping. Right, so, I, Elzuk Road. This is bottom of North Bourne Street. Right, the Granger used to be here, if you can see. Just used to be here. I walk out of it. Used to be a fish shop here. I remember Woodsy getting tied to the fish shop window, bollock naked on his birthday. And I tell you what, he had nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> but yeah, this is the bottom of North Bourne Street. Ah, and across the road. And this is where the Granger pub was. This is where Bullock, right, shot me pal, Billy. Right? Now, when Bullock done that, right, my question is, right, did he do that? after having loads of negativity from Paddy around what was going on at the Granger and how jealous Bullock, uh, Paddy was that Billy had bought the, the Granger and is that the reason why Davy went right off the rails with Paddy when Bullock shot Billy? It is. You've got to understand folks, right? It's got to stop spinning round. Because I've got to understand. I hope I'll, oh, this is good. Wait there. There, that's better. Because I've got to understand, folks, right? That this area here, this is where was like Paddy's power base, but it was also Davy's. Right, no, Davy. Paddy lived at the top of North Bourne Street, Davy lived around here. I'll show you, is this light? It's blinding us, but I've got to have it. Aye. So, Granger across here, folks. This is, you know, when they can on the book, me and Davy, this is where we're handed the antiques over. To the police on the and old as a party. And Davy didn't inform on anybody on that. No. I think there was fingerprints found on the goods, and that's why they got arrested and convicted. Yes. No, I'll just walk up here up this street. Yeah, this is GM Street. The next street along. No, Davy lived here. Just here. Right, now, they're different hooses and all that now. They were all hooses like this one over here. Right then. See? Been knocked down. So, what we're talking about here, folks, right, is Davy at the time, when he was living here, he was the naughtiest, most feared man in this area. Michael Conroy was equally feared. It was only Michael Conroy who was maybe more feared than Davy. 
And that's for good, very good reason. Very, very good reason. But, right, my point is, that confession in Durham Jail Hospital from that man, he reminded me of him coming to this house, yeah, when it was built, yeah, knocking on the door, and I answered the door, yeah, right, yeah. He reminded me at that time when he's come to shoot Davy. And the only reason why he never shot Davy, because he was going to shoot me and then run in and shoot Davy. And he says, the only reason why he never, because I looked too much like a young'un, too young. And he was uncomfortable with shooting a, a young'un. Aye. Getting people... Aye. Oh, and that madman who uh, was on the live, who give us a, who come on live in this, on the cesspit. Remember all them months ago, give us a hard time. He lives around somewhere around ya. That might have been him there pulling up. But, my point is, right? If the Scotsman's confession is true, is it true? Is it really, really true? Was he capable of rocking up on Viv or not? Now, we rocked up on Davy, and you, would ha you wouldn't knock on Davy Glover's door back then unless you were tooled up looking for trouble. No way. So, I think like that. You see, Paddy knows that what I'm saying is true. That's why he's been turning around and saying, right, that, what was it? That he doesn't think that the confession that I'm supposed to have give him was true, right? That that was only a co that was only me stirring it so I could get in with him. I didn't need to get in with him and make up a story like that to get in with Paddy. No. Not like that at all. But well, anyways, I'm gonna go for the walk, folks. But I thought I'd start off, yeah. Aye. So, because when I told him about the Scotsman, tried to tell him about the Scotsman, he just wasn't listening at all, right? And no, because there was another West Ender, right? Who sat with his throughout this whole time, a YP at the time, right? Tell you this, what this YP done, right? Just so everybody knows. Everybody now I'm talking about as soon as I see this later, I've got to see it. Right, but he was there, right? When he was about 17 or something, this kid, right? He was shoplifting in Phoenix in the tune, big department store in the tune centre. He got caught shoplifting, right? And uh, he pulled out a two two handgun, let one off in the roof of the shop. They uh, they get away with the security guards. And uh, he got nicked. He got ten years, and he ended up in the hospital with me. So he can bear witness. And it's a small world, Rhonda. It's a small world. And that's why Paddy knows that my story is true. So. <laughs> yes, we're walking down. What's this? I forget the name of this street. <laughs> <laughs>
Westview. This is Westview. Corner St John's Road. I've already been along here, folks. Right? I'm going somewhere else. Doing on the craft as the craft as walk. They made it much harder these days, gotta see you. Aye. So when I think about what's been going on and Davy getting the finger pointed at him, right? I gotta say this, right? Davy Glover, right, has not confessed to murder or anything like that to me. Not back then, not not now, not today, or anything, nothing at all, right? Davy's response has been, right, started with Steve Rafe with that first interview in the tune he'd done with him, right, because Davy was confused, he did, he did have a, a boil over and taxed members of his family when he had a breakdown and stuff like that, right? That happened. But all that got made good. See with this light shining in your eyes. You cannot see where you're going. You really cannot. Aye, folks. Aye, so what was I talking about there? I keep losing my thoughts. Yes, let's have a little walk along here. Someone parked up there, I think they're bloody. I ain't be doing stuff, I don't want to walk past them. Let's walk along ya. Yeah. Aye, so folks, that's the way it guns. You know what I mean? Eh. Uh, that's why Davy come, come onto YouTube. That's why I done an interview with. All because he just had enough. He had enough of Paddy. Aye. Paddy and his Winter Hill Gang nonsense. It's just a direct reflection of his own behaviour. Aye. <laughs> I hope I'm getting a good picture here. But I'm going to check, so I'll get back with you, folks.